Hey, uh, so I just wanted to, um, you know, kind of, I guess, introduce myself um, for people who have watched my YouTube videos and maybe wonder, you know, who I am <laughs> other than the musician that they see. Uh, my name is Nick Lewis. Um, I'm 23. I live in Ontario, Canada. Um, I've been a musician, a guitar player since I was um, about seven years old. Um, I hope I'm not having to look up my nose here. That's, that's all right. <laughs> um, when I was uh, younger, um, you know, I didn't really have a lot of friends. Um, it was pretty quiet. Uh, I didn't play any sports. <laughs> Um, got got picked on, you know, got teased. Um, I had long hair back back then. And I have long hair now. Um, I was really into uh, Nirvana um, in like grade three, and um, I bleached my hair. Well, I didn't bleach it. I got it dyed uh, blonde. And because my hair is so dark, it turned out strawberry blonde, and it didn't look so good. <laughs> and I got teased at at school for you know, looking like a weirdo. Um, but I left it. I didn't dye it back. There was, you know, something in me that was just like, screw it, you know, I'll, I'll take it. Um, so yeah, I've always been a, you know, um, a guitar player since I was young, always into music. Um, you know, my, my dad kind of got me into uh, the music that I listened to. Um, is, that, is that bright enough? Is that too bright? Well, anyway, you can you can hear what I'm saying. Um, yeah, my dad kind of got me into the stuff that I listened to. Uh, you know, classic rock, uh, Led Zeppelin, The Doors, Jimi Hendrix, um, Steve Miller, stuff like that. Um, I know I say I'm a lot. <laughs> hey, goes with doing an impromptu video, right? And yeah, uh, you know, I went through a lot of, I guess, like psychological struggle when I was young because of, you know, getting picked on so much and kind of being somewhat of an outcast, I guess. Um, and, you know, like, it built up for so long, you know, into my teen years and Actually, my teen years weren't too bad as far as like getting picked on and whatnot. I started to come into my own once I hit, you know, grade 10, 11. Um, but yeah, I was just a really, really sad um, person. You know, very. I became really depressed when I was a teenager and um, really didn't know, you know, what the fuck was going on, what I could do, how to help myself. Um, I started reading, uh, you know, books of a spiritual nature, I guess. I kind of started off with um, the magic side of things. I started reading like Al Aleister Crowley and read a lot of him. Um, started to read about, you know, magic and Wicca and, you know, all that shit. And um, they kind of evolved into reading about, um, you know, psychology and, you know, self-help books, stuff like that, um, because I was really, you know, searching for, you know, a way out of my funk that I was in for so long, you know. Um, and when I was in high school, you know, I kind of experimented with, you know, weed and I did mushrooms and acid a couple times and I knew how much um, acid and mushrooms opened up your consciousness and how much, you know, it really forced you to deal with the demons, um, in your closet that, you know, you just didn't want to deal with on a regular basis. You kind of put it in the back of your mind and, you know, kept it where it was. Um, so what I'm getting at is, you know, like, I was really depressed and I was reading all these books looking for a way out 
And then, you know, I kind of remembered how much psychedelics opened up my consciousness when I did experiment with them in high school. Um, so I knew that if there's a way that I could merge, you know, the spiritual with the psychedelic, <laughs> I would probably be healed of all my, um, you know, personal anguish that I was going through. So I found ayahuasca. Um, I don't know if it was me googling psychedelic plus spirituality. I really can't remember now, but I, I googled ayahuasca and I started looking up ayahuasca and what it was all about. And then I found an ayahuasca retreat. And then I found many ayahuasca retreats. Um, and then I found the Ayahuasca Foundation. And I booked a trip to Peru. Never flown, never been anywhere really. Um, a friend of mine and I, we went, just the two of us, and the Ayahuasca Foundation changed my life. Ayahuasca changed my life, and, you know, that retreat specifically, um, all that was involved in the retreat, um, you know, it wasn't just about drinking ayahuasca and, you know, that's it. Um, I learned so much about, you know, the nature of true healing and the nature of indigenous cultures and how they use um, plants to heal every single illness under the sun. Um, and I learned from a master curandero by the name of Don Enrique Lopez. Um, and I learned so much. And when I was there, you know, coming there, I was so depressed, so just like at my wit's end, you know. Um, once I drank ayahuasca a few times and started to be in that vibe and um, be in the caring nature of the Ayahuasca Foundation, uh, the dude who runs it, Carlos Tanner, is an amazing human being who deserves the fucking Nobel Peace Prize um, because he was... Um, there for everybody and really there for me um, you know I, I couldn't even believe that the amount of healing was happening that was happening I couldn't even believe it it felt like I was in a movie um, just because everything was so perfect and the the nature of ayahuasca is so loving and so caring and nurturing and releasing you know it released so much years and years and years and years of mental anguish you know years of like being picked on years of feeling like a piece of shit you know years of feeling inadequate years of having so much pent-up frustration and anger it was I can't say all released but a lot was released and it changed my life. It changed my fucking life. Um, the Ayahuasca Foundation, it's ayahuascaassociation.org, you can find them online, changed my life and put me on the path that I'm supposed to be on, which is the path of healing others, myself, you know, whoever I encounter through music, um, which I believe is, you know, my gift to the world. Um, and I'm not trying to like toot my own horn, like, oh, it's my gift to the world, so like, no. I mean, it's my gift to the world because I really truly care about helping people and I really want to help them through music, you know. And that's another thing, like, when. I went to the Ayahuasca Foundation, the way that they run their ceremonies is the curandero will sing um, and then, you know, Carlos will sing and then he'll ask everybody in the, in the ceremony if they want to sing, you know, individually. And I, I brought my little ukulele and this guy right here, it's pretty small, you can't really tell from the video, but it's tiny. And I brought it um, to Peru to the ceremony um, and I played music 
while under the influence of ayahuasca in ceremony and it connected me to myself and to my music in a way that I'd never experienced before and it connected me to my music in a way that really was like a revelation saying you know like dude like you need to play music you need to play music more than you're playing it now you know you need to play music all the time because you know before going there um, I was just kind of going through the motions when I was playing music like yes I loved it but I was so depressed at the time that I really couldn't focus you know but it really helped me focus it helped me focus so much um, and I know you know like I started to talk about myself and kind of like just now like the oh, fuck I'm, I'm so bad at recording videos <laughs> I know like that I just started to you know give you a synopsis on my life um, and then went into ayahuasca, and now I'm on this ayahuasca tangent. tangent. Um, but, you know, it's such a pivotal moment. It was such a pivotal moment in my life um, that I can't not talk about it. You know, I, I'll sing ayahuasca's praises to the day I die, and also to the ayahuasca foundation. Um, I went back a few months later and experienced more healing. Um, on a deeper level and, you know, learn new lessons. Um, and that's really where I'm at now, you know, it really put me on a spiritual path. Um, really like reinforced the belief that, you know, things are going to be all right. You know, everybody has the opportunity, opportunity to be happy and, you know, to feel love. And it's not even necessarily loved, loved by, you know, for someone else or for something or whatever, but it's more so love for yourself more than anything. Um, and having the confidence to spread that love to others, you know, um, that was a big thing too. You know, ayahuasca shows you that fuck, like nobody knows what's going on. And, you know, nobody has their shit fully together, no matter how much they appear like they do. You know, everybody's scared of something. Everybody has their faults. Everybody has their downfalls. Everybody has their major fuck-ups in life. Um, you know, and that's a universal truth, you know. Everybody goes through bullshit. And everybody wants to feel happy. Everybody wants to feel that love. You know, everybody wants to feel that connection with others and with themselves. And, you know, ayahuasca gave that to me. And the Ayahuasca Foundation provided that for me. Um, it's, it's just mind-blowing. So anybody who's really hurting, anybody who needs, you know, deep, deep healing, I urge you to look up the Ayahuasca Foundation, ayahuascaassociation.org, and just check it out. But yeah, um, that's where I'm at. Um, right now, I work at a, a call center for a hotel chain. And I work there as a manager, <laughs> which is totally like out of sight, I guess, you know, it's such a difference, uh, a contrast, you know, from who I really am, you know, which is a crazy hipped out ayahuasca drinking musician, you know, um, but it, it, it's definitely a, a good place to work and, um, it allows me to save money. I plan on moving to Cusco, Peru um, to work at that hotel chain um, and hopefully get a placement with a retreat center. Um, at least try anyway. Um, and I would really, really like to um, join with Ayahuasca Wazi ayahuascawazi.com, their ceremonies are like concerts, um, you know, who knows, but I have full intentions on, you know, spreading the good word of 
music and love and peace and all that good shit. So yeah, um, if you if anybody sat through this whole video, kudos to you because I probably wouldn't have. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a little brief synopsis on who I am. Um, I was a kid who was in despair, and I was a kid who always played music, and I was a kid who, and still is, you know, always thinking, always just wondering what's out there, you know, and um, it took me 22 years to kind of get my act together somewhat, you know. And ayahuasca gave that to me, and again, the Ayahuasca Foundation provided that for me. So, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. My name's Nick Lewis. I'm from Ontario, Canada, and uh, I hope you like my videos. Um, feel free to rag on me for saying um or fucking up my sentence uh, formation. I'm definitely no Barack Obama when it comes to eloquence. So, uh, yeah, anyways, namaste, all that good shit, see ya.